Hey everyone, how's it going? My name's Happy and welcome to... Oh, hi. Thank you to Sticky Piston Hosting for making this series possible. If you're a map maker and want to get your map out to the rest of the world, head to trial.stickypiston.co, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click submit your map. Upload and play thousands of maps at trial.stickypiston.co. Link will be in the description. Once again, thank you Sticky Piston Hosting for making this series possible. Let's get right into the video. So today is the day everybody, welcome back to Map Making Basics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make villagers or any mob you like have custom paths in Minecraft. As you can see, this guy is going around this little circuit. He's going to be, he's going to be going around here forever. Uh, he, he can't die either. He, I mean, usually he doesn't die. You feeling alright today, sir? You, you want to talk? No. If you would like to go check out any of these other episodes, the link will be at the end of the video and down in the description of the video as the last video. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. As you can see, I've set up this little space here. There's currently nothing in any of the command blocks at all. Let's see if I can get out of the command blocks. Yep, there's nothing in those command blocks. And we've got this little area here. Now, we're going to be ignoring that guy. We're going to be doing something completely different using the exact same method. So we're going to be getting a villager to walk from point A to point B and then point B to point C, and then all in one go. So, the first command we need to do is we need to set up a system that spawns a villager at point A. Now to do that, what we're going to do is we're just going to test it first. So I'm going to place a block here of my choosing. It doesn't have to be a specific block. And I'm going to type in the following command. Slash summon. And you want to do a mob of your choosing. Again, villagers. That's what we're going to be doing today. And you want to type in the coordinates of the block. Now I've already got the exact coordinates of this block, uh, which is 54, 58, and 22. Now, if you do want to get the exact coordinates of a block, do as I've done, place down a block, and then do set block, and then you can get the exact coordinates there, 54, 58, 22. Now, of course, these coordinates will be different for you, but it's just a nice, simple method of finding your block coordinates. Anyway, then what you want to do is you want to get a little squiggly bracket, do two of those. Inside, do tags with a capital T, then a colon, and then two square brackets. Now, they are not square brackets, two square brackets. And then what you want to do is do two square speech marks in the uh, inside those two speech marks you want to type in a tag now for this we're going to be using move one now you can do whatever you like make sure you're going to remember it then you want to come outside of the square bracket not the squiggly bracket so you're still inside the squiggly bracket then you want to do a comma and then you want to type no with a capital no uh, capital n sorry and then capital a i so no a i and then another colon and then one b Press enter if you see if you see a villager it has worked and uh, yeah you want to copy that command go place it in this command block over here and this will just be so you can summon in as many of those villagers as you like and with the tag if you set multiple of these systems up and do it correctly you can have multiple villagers moving in different places and they won't get affected by each other however just be aware that if you already have a villager with this tag wandering along and you want a second one you'll have to give it a new tag and set all of these up again with the same tag. So for example, if you have these command blocks here with walk one, there's going to be a few problems because walk one over there is going to get teleported from here to there to there to there. And it's going to be a little bit confusing. So let's get into this. This is where the fun stuff starts to happen. So we want to get this little villager from point A to point B. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to be using blocks underneath. Choose a block that you want and you just simply place it two blocks under so you've got the floor and then underneath you've got your target block uh we're actually going to get rid of this block because we don't need it and i'll explain why later so point a to point b you want a block underneath point a but no block underneath point b and then blocks underneath the rest make sure these blocks are the same it doesn't matter if they're tilted or, or upside down or vertical just make sure they're the same block so we're going to go into the corresponding command block and you want to make sure it's repeat, unconditional and always active. This will be the same for this command block and depending on how many of these you set up, it will be the same for all of the different directions. So let's go into here and let's start typing in our command. Again, this is for the A to B and we're going in the west. We're going west. <clears throat> okay, we're going west. So you want to get things started by doing slash execute at or E, so all players, that's the at E, and then you want to do square brackets, and you want to do type equals Minecraft 
or just type equals villager because for some reason that works as well type equals minecraft villager then you want a comma and then you want tag equals move one or whatever you called your tag this is the tag on the villager so this will only execute those villagers then you want to do if block and then you want tilde 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 which are the squiggly lines on the second tilde you want minus two that will target the block not below it but the second block which is that purple pillar you can see in the background and then you want the actual block itself so this is purple pillars okay then what we're going to do is we're going to do run so this is now running a new command and you're going to want execute and then you want as all e so that will execute the entity again minecraft uh, so you want your squiggly uh, square brackets type equals villager and again you want uh, ba -ba -ba, tag equals move one or again whatever you called it pop out of the square brackets and then you want another run you want tp and again this time we're just going to copy this so we don't have to type it in again so at e again and minecraft villager and then what you want to do is again with your with your tag and then what you want to do is you want to tag uh do sorry tilde 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 i've said tag too many times you want to go to the first one this is only for the west direction and you want to do minus uh, sorry negative 0 0.1 and you want to do um space so go to the third one space it will say facing but just do 90 zero and that will allow you to get your villager moving from a all the way to b now it may look like our villager friend isn't fully on this block but trust me he is um and it doesn't matter also you you, you don't need the blocks but you know for, for, for demonstration purposes we're, we're gonna have the blocks so we've successfully got our villager friend from point a to point b and as you can see uh if you spawn another one he gets teleported back and then oh no that's mm, yeah. so when it comes to these numbers we always want to be moving by 0 0.1 so let's have a go at getting our villager friend from here point b to point c now we are going to use different blocks we're going to use the purple block this time it doesn't matter what block you use just so long as um the block that you want so if you're changing direction have that underneath the stop point so for example if the stop point was here then i would start here and either go that way or this way as you can see here we have the blue and then we have the red starting the blue doesn't actually come all the way across it kind of stops here because that is when the villager changes and we'll see that in a second you'll see the villager comes to the corner and he changes his path if that blue went all the way he'd go here and he wouldn't be able to change his path so now that we've got our blocks set up and again leaving that space underneath this red block here or point c what we need to do is go into this repeating command block again always active unconditional repeat and we need to type in the same command now because this is the same command i'm going to just copy and paste it from the old command block like so and then we're going to be happy days so here's our command the only things we need to change are the block so we need to go blocks and we need to go here and change purple pillar to purple block now again this will uh, be completely dependent on what blocks you choose but yep there you go change the block from whatever it was to uh, the, the new block and then you want to go all the way to the end and you want to change your little parameters so i believe for south it is zero and then you want to do take this out and you want to go to the third tilde and do 0 0.1 and what that should do if all done correctly is move the villager to point c now if you want to go in the other direction then change that number to a negative and change this number to 180 and then what that will do is if we go and place a block here the villager should move the other way there you go so if you want to get the villager moving in different directions uh, for example if you want him going the other way which is east all you need to do here is change this to a po positive and change that to a negative and then just go and replace your blocks here like so and you should see the villager starts moving the other direction so once you get two directions the rest of the directions are pretty easy so now let's have a look at getting our villager to go in a straight line oh no okay so after sorting all of that out uh, let's go and sort this out and make this work so we've still got our setup everything is back to normal there is no block underneath here but the block that changes direction is now under point c uh, sorry point b so let's spawn in the villager and see if this works as you can see he successfully moves over to point a and then uh, from point b to a and then goes to point c so let's do that again because we did notice some uh, some errors in the tracking there no that seems to be fine he's going he's going for it 
So yep, that everybody is it. Make sure you get your directions correct. Uh, if you do want all of the directions, then we'll go through them here. Uh, this way is west. So west are these numbers here. Um, the other direction obviously is just the opposite. And then north and south are these ones, I believe. This one is north. Uh, no, this one is south. And of course, this one is north. So yep, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you learned something new. Um, it's not as hard as you think to make mob pathfinding. Um, as you've seen here, nice and simple to do. That's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you learned something new. Go, and, go ahead and check out the rest of the videos in this playlist. Uh, sorry, this one took a while to get out. I didn't really know how to show it off for you. Um, but yeah, hope that helped anyway. Subscribe if you enjoyed, leave a like if you enjoyed as well. Thanks so much for watching, my name's been happy. I've got a GeForce game driver ready to install. Bye!